Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and uh, today I got in uh, another crowdfunding uh, fulfillment. Seems like they're all coming in at once here. Uh, this is for uh, Deep Space D6. What's kind of cool here is the this outer uh, sleeve that it was shipped in, standard entertainment unit. Uh, I was expecting the uh, traditional, the, the box cover was actually cool because it was made to look like a uh, choose your own adventure novel. Uh, which was, was awesome because I used to read those when I was a, a kid back in the 80s. So, uh, anyway, um, just curious as to what, you know, what's inside. It's a very simple solo, uh, uh, only space exploration game. So we're going to open it up here and see what's inside. All right, so the shrink is off and the uh, sleeve's still on. One thing uh, I'm noticing is, is people are saying it's very tight to get in, to get out, which it is, but I think the solution is, you look very close here, the outer sleeve is just this cardboard part, because there you can see the, the choose your own adventure kind of colors in there. Anyway, um, so if you push on this, you're actually pushing the inside of the real box. So I think what you gotta do is try to push The actual, yeah, there you go. And then that takes this, this little thin cardboard sleeve off. And there's the goodness. There it is, Choose Your Own Adventure. Uh, looks like a little book with the pages. Isn't that nice? A solitaire Clue Assignment Game, Survive the Depths of Space. This was a point and play title, player. Minutes. Pretty cool, and then a quick fill of beam. So, this is a magnet box. So, oh, very nice. So, that's why that sleeve's on there, obviously, is to keep the magnet box closed and shipping. So, um, nice box, but it's dirty. These magnet boxes are really nice. So, there's our there's your rule book. Gonna get a little simple rule book summary on the back. Apparently, they will have page numbers uh, in the future. A bit of a processor, but it's about I don't know eight pages and a couple of back pages for notes. So, how to play the game? You know, you know, what you expect in the rule book. So we got cards. These are, wow, they're kind of small. Um, not sure if they're standard, uh, standard mini size. Or, what are they? I think small. Smaller than normal. I'll take a look here. They're two and a half. One and three quarters. So if you're a sleever, that's what you're looking for. Two and a half and three quarters. So three and four. Nice. They're custom. And you feel a little light. Seems to be the trend now with dice. Uh, Mark's Recon had that. And the dice were kind of lighter than normal. Of course, they had some difference too, but there's still that light kind of dice, not the nice chunky. Eh, I don't know. I don't know, they feel alright. They're small. They're smaller guys. But they're okay. They're the nice ones. That's how many of these are living. So. A nice roll to them. Nice chew, as they might say with the cookie. Uh, there we go, six sided die. Well, they're all six sided die, obviously, together, but these are going to be standard tips. No Gladys Knight. Included and they're correctly oriented. And we have a we have two cubes. We have a smoky colored cube and a green cube. Right, and a bag. And we have a infirmary. 
and in the assigned phase, you may send a unit to the infirmary to change another available unit to new phase. Okay, so obviously we're just standing on the board there with a piece of cardboard. And then, well, this is cute. The boards are mounted. They're small boards, but they are mounted. So this is the calcium. So this is the board you use for the ship. Now it's kind of annoying. Let's see before I say it's annoying. It appears though that the notes for this ship are on the back of this ship. So as I'm playing with this ship. I was in the right place, but I can't read the notes on the back of the ship. So, find a nice of the notes were on the back of a different card. This here is Mono Nowhere. This is a station or something. This uh, I don't know. I don't know, but the notes are on the back. It's kind of strange, but they're nicely mounted for for such an expensive game. I think that's actually kind of cool. Right, well, these two are stuck together. This new harbor band. There we go. A little, little smuts right there. Apparently stuck to the other board. And here we have the Athena Mark II. This is the Athena Mark I. Yeah, this is the RG8. Alright. So it's pretty cool that they're mounted though. The little game one, this one's stuck as well. It's stuck closed. So I like that they're mounted. I do. And you know, maybe once you get to know them, you don't really have to look at anything on the ship. Maybe you read all this before, uh, and then I'll, uh, uh, we'll tell you um, everything you know, and then you play the game, you don't worry about it. But at least at first blush, it looks like it might have been more convenient to have the Athena notes there so you can read them side by side. Uh, it does have gameplay notes. So. Can't help but think that that might have been more helpful. Now, maybe this is in the rule books, uh, which we will find out as we play it. So, you get four. Actually, very nicely mounted. That's a very, it's, it's a treat for such a small game. But these are mounted. So, these are the pieces of paper. So, you get four ships. You have the infirmary card, which I guess maybe it's added in the oven. I don't know yet. Deck of cards. Kind of small, but still, you know what they are. Six custom dice. One, one black die. Couple cubes. Another nice dice came in. Rule book. A nice magnetic box. And then a sleeve that's kind of cool, but probably is just going to get chunked. So, Deep Space D6 from Tal Leader Games. That's what you get. Thanks for watching.